All right, now before we get started here tonight, I'm going to warn every single one of you that the very last one we're doing today is messed up. It is messed up. No, it's not a matter of people getting hurt or awful things. This is going to physically make you go, oh God, a lot, a lot. This is, this is past the, the, the eel in the butt. Okay? Oh. So I'm going to warn you, if you do not have a strong stomach, you don't want to stick around for the last story. I'll warn you again before we do it, but if you don't have a strong stomach, do not stick around for the last story. Okay? Even Tara's like, what am I in for? Do I have to stick around for the last story? Can we just... Can I just put a hippo in front of the camera to emote weirdly at you? I have a, I can put a I can put a monkey in front of the camera to emote. That would be really funny camera. if we just like put up a link to the last story next to a, our cameras with a monkey and a hippo on them. And, and just laugh. Yeah, fuck it. We're gone. Like, you bitches are on your own. Make of this what you will. OK, let us begin. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, and bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? Now, I w have built up the last one a bit, obviously, but our first one is firmly within the wheelhouse. It's, it's one of those must-be-Monday kind of stories. Um, More fun with fast food, I guess, is the best lead-in I can give this. Oh. Police say man caught masturbating in a McDonald's parking lot. He's loving it. For <laughs> I know I've used that joke before. It still works. 44-year-old Dartmouth man was arrested after police said he was caught masturbating in the parking lot of the McDonald's. Call came in at 8.15 a.m., which that's not a time you expect to, you know, that's, that's when people are getting their McMuffins and shit. McGriddles. I've recently kind of fallen in love with the McGriddle. Oh, those are so bad for you. I know. I know. It's basically like heart disease wrapped in Don't paper. Don't do that. It's so bad for you. The sausage, egg and cheese one. It's kind so of horribly delicious. I mean, not masturbatorily delicious. I know. This apparently uh, witnesses provide police with a description of the man along with the vehicle license plate. He was eventually arrested at his home. Um... They added the crime or a decent act being committed. Try to write down details of the car, license plate, and call the police. That's the police saying, you should probably write this stuff. Down. There's a guy jerking off. I probably want to leave the area as quickly as possible. You know, I mean. I'm not going to stare at him. No, I'm not hanging around. He's supersizing his dick. Really? Really, Aster? Really? Really? No, no. Uh, 8.15 in the morning. Okay. I've been to McDonald's. He finally got the Park Place Monopoly piece. Admit it, you might be pretty sexually excited if you finally got the piece that doesn't even seem to exist. No. But just it, 8 15, you've been, to, I've been to the McDonald's 8 15 in the morning. That's normally when I'm like, I'm out of food. And or I'm on my way to work or I'm on my way to work and I'm out of food. That's usually what I'm doing there at 8 15 in the morning. And I need something to eat. And I'm yeah, I, I'm it alone. Right. I'm in a hurry. I want to get my shit. Get out the fucking McDonald's. Fuck. I'm in McDonald's for Christ's sake. Oh, the choir pedantic. Our place is a common piece. It's boardwalk. That's rare. You, you realize we do this shit on purpose to you people just to make you say this shit in the channel, right? We're giant trolls. Um, but you're driving through the drive through. You're you need to, to leave as quickly as possible. Either you have to go to work or it's McDonald's and you don't want to be at McDonald's. You don't want to look over. And and then there's, you know, a guy. Preparing his own McFlurry. Good job on the euphemism. That's just, usually me. You don't want to see that happening. I wonder, was he eating a McGriddle with the other hand? Oh. 
And why the McDonald's? Why? What exactly about that particular place and time? <laughs> Unless, and I think I know what's happened here, and this happens a lot, and it's it's sad. It's fucking sad as hell. McDonald's is one of the many places that offers free Wi-Fi. <laughs> so you know what he was doing out there was hooking in the McDonald's Wi-Fi and then going to porn tube. Porn on his phone? They or a laptop or something. I mean, it's choppy enough on the computer. Can you imagine on your phone? Well, I can watch movies on my phone. I watch Breaking Bad on my phone. Really? Yeah, Netflix. I watch you know, Breaking Bad. I have on my trouble phone. watching YouTube on my phone. <laughs> But no, it's just it. Uh, you know, so P, that free Wi-Fi is nice and everything, but there is a dark side to it. OK, guys, no, no, no disrespect and everything, but I don't care what Monopoly pieces you've gotten. <laughs> you don't have to tell me they're trying to school you in McDonald's Monopoly. I don't care. <laughs> OK, um, our next one is. We've had all of those, so many of these events where that's not what 911 is for. Yes. What are you doing with 911? However, I, I think this one would qualify as a 911 call if it actually was happening. Riverton, in one of the most bizarre calls to the Fremont County Emergency Dispatch Center, a report from yesterday, a woman at a home in Gardens North Area, Riverton, was possessed by a poltergeist. It's reported to the 911 center. The woman stopped breathing when sprayed with holy water and then went into cardiac arrest when other occupants of the home attempted an exorcism. However, when a deputy arrived on the scene, the woman's breathing was taken to hospital and was reported in stable condition. Although the home's occupant stated that a demon had been breaking things and biting people, the deputy could not find any evidence of criminal, of criminal or, or other activity that anyone had been bitten. And I've got to give it to... The reporter in this one for being so restrained. Yeah, they really played that straight. Evidence of criminal or other activity, as in you cray, girl. Well, can you be? I mean, a poltergeist is a type of ghost. Yes. Now, on Supernatural, you can be possessed by a ghost. But Supernatural also often refers a lot to the Book of Revelations, plural, which doesn't exist. No, it's the it's revelation, revelation of yeah. John. So they're not exactly like reality canon. <laughs> We're talking about ghost possession. Even though their depiction of vampires is totally accurate. But, well, I mean, the Catholic Church acknowledged years ago when the, when the movie The Exorcist came out, they basically said, yeah, that happens to people. Catholic Church came out and said that. They were like, yeah, that's totally a thing that happens. So as a terrible Catholic, I'm sort of required to believe that you can be possessed by a demon. I don't know so much by a ghost. Like, and by a poltergeist in particular, like, was she moving the furniture around? Okay, JF315 in the channel. Hey, ghost possession is nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> But like, isn't that the thing about poltergeists? They throw things around. Yeah, house. yeah. It's they, they don't so possess they you. They just break shit. Did she just keep moving a chair across the room? <laughs> <laughs> she must be possessed. She keeps cleaning things. And they put it back and she'd move it again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I mean, OK, I can understand if you did, in fact, believe that your loved one had been possessed by a spirit. I'm not sure 911 is the call. Wouldn't you call your your priest? I, what's 911 going to do? I know, like they're not really equipped for that. <laughs> they don't have like, you, you know, holy water clergy. mace. No, like you need to call the clergy of your choice to deal with that shit. Yeah, it's 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 not going to be it's it's not going to be they're not going to come out, you know, with the proton packs and shit. Mm -hmm. This is the sheriff's well, department. That would be awesome. <laughs> That would be awesome. But no, this is the sheriff's department. They're much more likely to come out with the guns. And we, we've got a we, we've got a possession at 321 Maple Street. Remember, gentlemen, don't cross the streams. <laughs> good times. Well, I mean, honestly, if I was in that real world situation, you know, this sort of crazy supernatural shit's happening, I'd have to stop and go. Maybe I should call the police. Because that's what you're supposed to do when shit goes crazy. 
I honestly think I'd try and, and I'd, I'd be sitting there going like, what would Dean Winchester do? Hmm. I'd try and get out of it that way. And then I'd call my, my friend who was a Wiccan in college and see what advice he has to give me. Probably before the police, because they, but you can't you can't tase the dead. They will try. They will try. But it's not really going to help. But so. they'll try nonetheless. Our next one. Very short, very synced, very to the point. The headline kind of buries the lead a bit, though. And this comes to us from uh, Hollywood. Um, Los Angeles, California. A man in North Hollywood is facing charges of criminal trespassing after climbing up a high-powered transmission tower. The power was still on when the man climbed up the top, sat down, bounced, and stretched. It wasn't until five hours later, police went up and offered the man a blanket that he agreed to come down. And let's see. Um, there's something this story is neglecting to add in this article, and I'm going to play it here and let you see. Um, yeah, this this is the other part of the story. The rest of the story. He was, in fact, naked. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm wondering why we were covering this for a yeah, second. There's a guy climbed a tower. He's just, all right, all right, naked. This is one of those things you shouldn't do. Especially naked. Have you seen? I, I like that they were sort of handling it the same way they handle a bear in a tree. <laughs> like they put down, were they, were they down there with a trank gun? <laughs> okay, D.A. Scott Instead Jr. D.A. Scott Jr. wins. Poor Linus went crazy. <laughs> they took away his blankie. He's got to have his blankie. Have you ever seen those steel towers? They're not they're not made for ergonomics. Those are rough metal edges. They just weld that shit together. It's not sanded down. It's not it's not there for your comfort. And, it's not an iMac. OK, this is rough, sharp fucking metal. And you're going like to get naked with hangy bits. I know I'm already crossing my legs over here going, oh, God. I'm not. Wow. OK, Thomas Fourth. So the kid from Kindergarten Cop grew up. Esoteric, but I like it. The only kid I remember from Kindergarten Cop is boys have a penis and girls have a vagina. <laughs> I, ju I just it. <laughs> you know, if I happen to be in said position. And I was looking for a place to go without a stitch on my last choice would be the one with the sharp metal edges. Again, I wonder, I want, I, I wonder at the root of this happening. <laughs> I wonder how this person came to be naked and climbing a power tower and staying there for five hours well, that's once you're up there and you're naked it's a little embarrassing <laughs> like notice as soon as they offered him a blanket he agreed to come down because at some point you realize that you're naked on top of the power tower and some, yeah, you're not moving you're not coming down at some point the sleeping. light goes on and you're like yeah. what am i and, doing with my life and it turns into like a bad adam sandler movie <laughs> So an Adam Sandler movie. They're good ones. The Wedding Singer. Hmm. <sighs> so, I mean, it, it, <clears throat> damn it. But just of all the places to go, that's, that's. That's not a place, especially if you're a man. Well, especially if you're anybody. No, I don't care. Man, woman, you've got. Sharp metal, weldy. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want sharp metal, weldy things near my nooks and crannies either. Yeah, I know. Not good. Okay, so um, next one comes from New York City. All right. If one more person points out that at least he didn't try to stick it in his ass, I am banning all of you. 
She will, too. I will ban the entire channel. No mas. This one... This is sincerely, without a doubt, what the fuck is wrong with you? There's, there's no other question to ask when presented with this headline. Parents, you're going to be pissed. I'm not a parent and I'm pissed because... Okay, well, enough building this one up. Um, headline, New York City. English teacher assigns students write a suicide note. Parents who send their children to an elite New York City private school are outraged at one recent English class assignment to write a personal suicide letter. Students at the Upper West Side private facility, some as young as age 14, were required to write the goodbye letters an offshoot lesson plan from the best-selling book and movie, The Secret Life of Bees. The main character from the book killed herself. Teacher told the students to include the letter the rationale for their suicides, leaving at least a few of the kids rattled and parents angered. What? I've heard of having you write your own obituary. Mm, yeah, that's that's not bad. That's a pretty common writing assignment. But that's different. Like you can say, I, you know, Tara Dean Han got hit by a naked man in a police chase who ran her over in his car. Like, mm -hmm. but, but this sounds legit. That's kind of sick. Yeah, I this like this. Do you really want to encourage kids to think about suicide because half of them already are. You know, so it, let's not help you start this. Suddenly we have Winona Ryder and 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 then, you know, it's it's people are you know, drinking Drano and crashing through the glass tables and teenage suicide. Don't do Sorry. Or I'm, not. I'm going off into the 80s there. I'm sorry. <laughs> But this, this, uh, for fucks, how, how in the world, how in the fucking world can you stop and come up with this fucking writing assignment and think this is That's a good, good day? Idea. Yeah, this, this is, you, I mean, this is like. Surely this won't go horribly awry. This is like, if you think Robin Williams character in, in uh, Dead Poet Society fucked up, you ain't seen nothing. This is like Dead, so Dead Poet Society 2. No one gets out alive. This time it's personal. No shit. Fuck Christ, hell. <laughs> but I even just say that. For Dead Poet Society 2, poetry kills. I just, this... This man... Who, who is it? They don't say if it's a man or a woman. But they don't say the name, no. This is a man... I can't. I, you know what? You might call me reverse sexist or whatever, but I can't see a woman coming up with this. I kind of can. You can really? Yeah. Because I would. I don't see a guy being this fucking bonehead. I can see some like fuzzy, like nice white lady <laughs> trying to like connect with her students in this weird way. So that she can reach out to them and solve all their problems well, yeah, but while th teaching them an important lesson about life. This was an elite private school. They weren't exactly living all their life in a gangster's paradise here, okay? Yeah, the elite private schools are where the really fucked up kids are. True, yeah. With money. Yeah. The idle rich, yeah. They know where to get all the good drugs. Mommy and, do Mommy and daddy showed them. Yes. <sighs> but Jesus Christ. And how do you pass that? that that's that when people on the channel are asking. How do you pass that assignment? No, you didn't include razor blades. And remember, it's down the street, not across the road. You gotta have to get these these details right. What do you do for extra credit on this assignment? I know. Just fuck's sake. You kill yourself. Yeah, I guess so. See, Christ. That's I without saying it. I was going for subtlety. I know that's foreign concept around here. Fucking Christ's sake. Who would, if you are watching Teacher Purse, I doubt you are. But if you are, shame on you. Shame. Sh shame on you. S stupid. 
there have been a few of these lately. Like, didn't we have one where the teacher like tried to get them to write like something from the Nazis point of view, something like that? I don't remember. It sounds similar. That sounds, yeah, that sounds like a thing. Like I appreciate teachers trying to be creative, but these things keep happening. That should be common sense. Common sense isn't. No. Speaking of common sense isn't, um, we've had this again. This is one of the, remember the guy who, um, didn't get his order right at the restaurant, came back with an AK-47? Yes. And yeah, cause, cause they, they, they it was the, it was the McDonald's too. It was it McDonald's all coming around again? Remember that? Um, well, <laughs> no, that was a Popeye's. That was a Popeye's. That's right. It's Popeye's. Yeah. This guy, this one, um, well, same thing, pretty much sad to say. Um, basketball player disputes foul call with AK-47. Well, that's definitely a foul. That's probably a flagrant foul. Glenville man was cited for disorderly conduct June 11th. And I want, I want to pause here and just say he pulled an AK-47 and was cited for disorderly conduct after allegedly waving an AK-47 assault rifle around at a Hinesville basketball court during a dispute over a foul call. Hinesville police, and this is Georgia, Hinesville, Georgia, I'm pretty sure. Fort Stewart, yes, Hinesville, Georgia. I live like 30 minutes from there. Um, Hinesville police were dispatched to Liberty County Recreation Department basketball courts that received a report that a man had pulled an AK-47 out of the trunk of his car and threatened another man with it. When police arrived, they found the area very crowded. They were told the man had produced the gun was sitting on the bleachers. Um, police made contact with the man. All said the other man was much larger than him and he was concerned for safety. So he went out to his vehicle, pulled the AK-47 and said, quote, I have a gun and I'm not afraid of you. Um, according to the report the solution. Don't start fights with people bigger than you that you're afraid might beat you up. But it gets better. According to the report, the man told police he had responded by saying, quote, I don't give a fuck about no gun. I got guns, too. Yep, it's Georgia. All right. Responding officers to court hall to his vehicle to look at the gun. According to the report, they found the gun in the back seat with, quote, a 30 round magazine in the chamber. According to the report, when one of the officers inspected the gun and laid it back on the seat, the gun discharged, sending a round through the vehicle's door into the passenger door of a car parked in the next space. The officers then took control of the gun and unloaded it. Do gun? Do, do, do the cops not know how to put on the safety? <laughs> I mean, I'm not assuming that every cop knows how to use every gun in the world. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. But shouldn't you be able to tell whether or not the safety's on and act accordingly? Several things here. Number one, it's also, a there's no shooting in basketball. There's no shooting in basketball. It's a basketball well, game. There is. There's but, OK, shooting, yes, but not, not that. <laughs> yes. What the fuck? Dude, it's a bath. It's not even an NBA game or something. You know what? I could understand. I could understand if it was an NBA title game or something and some motherfucker fouled someone else. I could understand coming off, going off the court and coming back Kobe with a goddamn fucking AK. I could understand that shit. OK. Apparently, the they did. Mike is saying they did enact the safety, but it was rusted out. So this gun was in excellent condition. <clears throat> And fully loaded with 30 rounds of ammunition. See, I, I could understand if it was an important game like this, but this was at a fucking rec center. Part of the gun was held together with wood screws. I don't know where Mike is getting this information. He must have a different link. Either or what, Mike, was it you? Were you in Georgia this week, Mike? <laughs> I, I just, it, this was a rec center. This was not exactly vital to the national interest, okay? If you lost this game, what happens? You owe a guy a beer? Get over it. 
Beer is expensive, man. Not as expensive as three hundred and thirty dollars in a court date of July 7th or say a new left lung. Yeah. That's the other thing that that's bugging me. Disorderly conduct. Yeah, that's uh, disorderly conduct. Oh, a closer inspection showed the rifle slide cover was not mounted correctly and appeared to be the wrong cover for the gun. I, 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 yeah, this guy and, and the gun, it went off. It went the fuck off. There's a hole in someone else's car now. That's not disorderly conduct. That's vandalism at the very least, a felony at the most. And thank God there's only a hole in someone's car. car right. And not in their spleen. And that one was the cops fault. Your local intramural basketball game is not that fucking serious, people. And again, if you're worried about your safety because the first person you're having a fight with is bigger than you, maybe don't engage them in a fight. I mean, that's the only like, I'm a New York sports fan. I go to baseball games. And it's a fine tradition of New York sports to scream at the other fans and fight with them about shit. But it's also known that, like, New York fans will swing. So you don't scream at the fans that are built like brick shit houses because they'll toss you off the balcony. Also, if you're going to start shit and that's the best gun you got, don't. Don't want none. Don't start none. You would be better off with like a Derrick or one of those one, a zip gun at that point, for fuck's sake. I don't 3D I print a fucking gun at that point. Christ. I don't know anything about guns, so I can't contribute to that portion of the conversation. All right. We've reached the point that I warned you about when this story started. If you've just joined us in the middle of the segment, I'm going to reiterate my warning. Earmuffs. This one is kind of disgusting. This one is this is past rectal eels, kids. This is beyond eels. Then again, you know what? I might be overblowing it and you guys might have a different op uh, opinion. But this picture on this story. There's a picture. There's a picture. Uh, I'm going to give it to you first before I put it on the screen so that you can you understand why. So if you are easily if you can be messed, you might not want you might want to skip this segment. I'm just telling you right now. Last story comes from Japan. Oh, my God, I don't want to see the picture. I saw the headline. I don't want it. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. I don't want it. Eyeball licking causing pink eye in Japan. A dangerous fetish has eye experts seeing red and those who practice it seeing pink. They really started it that way. They, that's where... It's what eyeball licking. Fish? A strange erotic activity where participants actually put each other's tongues on each other's peepers. Alternately called not sexy. Alternately called oculinticus. I'd probably say oculite. Kind of like this lingus or whatever. Or worming. It's called worming. Eyeball licking is few public advocates, but they include Electronica Energius, a 29 year old environmental science student in the U.S. Virgin Islands. My boyfriend started licking my eyeballs years ago and I just loved it. I'm not with him anymore, but I still like to ask guys to lick my eyeballs. Something is wrong with you. OK. I'm going to start with the headline. Eyeball like licking. Not be an STD. Eyeball licking causes pink eye. No fucking shit. The human mouth. Okay, here's a fun, fun geek fact. I'm gonna put take the picture off the screen because it's killing me too. Please, let's little just little move it down. Because she... fun geek fact. Do you guys watch the Walking Dead or read the Walking Dead? Okay, and everybody's like, oh, a zombie bite will kill you because you're getting infected. No, no, no. 
This is actually the writer of the of the show of the comic book has come out and said this. It's not the zombie infection that kills you. There is no zombie infection. This is a virus that makes you get back up. No, no. What kills you is the infection you get from being bitten by another human being. That's what fucking kills you. So you want to put that in somebody else's eyeball. No. What's sexy about that? I don't know. Have I we, feel like this is just going to give Michael Douglas more fuel for his fire. Yeah. Have you heard about this? No. What? Michael Douglas is claiming that he got, was it, I don't know if it's mouth cancer or throat cancer. He's claiming that the reason he got mouth or throat cancer is from cunnilingus because he picked up HPV and that caused the cancer. Michael Douglas isn't allowed near science anymore. Because, well, HPV causes cervical cancer in women. So I guess I can see the connective thread. But like your mouth is not a cervix. Why did I actually have to say that? You know how cunnilingus works, right? Yeah, I know. But cervical, it's not there's no cervix involved anywhere here. Well, no, but, you know, I can see but, you know, there's just not a cervix. Give the men of the world one more excuse, asshole. Something's going to kill you. It may as well be. Uh, I'm not going to say. What? Did the eyeball licking. I mean, there are worse ways to go, is all I'm saying. Are there any? Oh, here's the, here's the even weirder part about it. The eyeball has no nerves. You know, did you know that? Then why does it hurt like fuck all when you get poked in it or something? Um, because, well, it, it can be bruised, but most what, if your eyeball I've itches. My, I've had my cornea scratched. My sister poked me in the eye when I was a kid. And believe me, I don't know of a pain like breaking my arm hurt less than that. But you you can feel the pressure on it. But the, the ocular nerve, but yeah, well, the ocular nerve, but there's not pain. Your eye. In fact, what, what irritates your eyes when it itches is the inside of your eyelid is getting scratched up. That's what's causing the, the, the well, pain. pain. Yeah. But so it's not even it's it's not even an erogenous zone. So why people would you do it? Shit. People just get off on shit because it's weird shit, I think. Have I we, think that's what we've come to. Have we like, run out of stuff? I Obviously. <laughs> We're jerking off at McDonald's and licking people's eyeballs. We have run out of stuff. So so we've we have hit the sexual singularity at this point. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. This is this is the the, the Caligula paradox where there's nothing left. Yeah. I just And the uh, thing is, guys, it doesn't need to be that complicated. I know. It's just find someone whose tab A makes your slot B happy. And go to town. It doesn't need to be complicated. There doesn't need to be eyeball looking. I mean, no. you a class in this. I, I posted a video of my, my boyfriend giving a short diatribe on the care and handling of balls. So, you know. But it doesn't need to be that tough. It doesn't need to be that elaborate. Everyone is running to YouTube right now going, what the fuck? There's balls and I did. I put it on Twitter. It's on her Twitter. Go look at her Twitter. Just it's quite an interesting little speech he gives. I wanted to have demo auto tune it so you could play it on the show, but yeah. he was not equal to the task. Auto tune the ball handling. So I just I'm I'm thoroughly repulsed by this. You're thorough. Everyone here in the channel has got completely repulsed by this. How can you maintain an erection if someone is licking your eyeball, guys? Like I, I I'm aware of the fact that I've been blinking like crazy since we started doing this story. Cause I'm just like, Ugh! and I can't take eye stuff. Like one of the reasons I never saw the movie saw is because one of my friends was like, Oh no, there's an eye thing. And I'm like, fuck that whole franchise. I'm not going. Like, okay. I can't take eye stuff. Like the part in the walking dead with the eyeball. Oh my God. I can't even handle it. Nora Max says, it again and, Nora Max says, not me. I find it funny. So that's why you couldn't keep, uh, because licking his eye. Okay, never mind. Ne never, never, never mind. 
Japan. Why? There's a video here, too, and I ain't playing the fucking video. Oh, hell no. I am not playing that fucking video. You guys can go look that shit up on YouTube your own goddamn self. I am not playing that motherfucking video. No. Fuck a baker's dozen of that. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, no. Fuck you. Go look it up yourself. I ain't looking at that shit. Fuck you. Just put the link in the channel so they can watch yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Here. You want to go watch it? Here. Go to town, kids. Here's your new two girls, one cup. Have fun. But I just, OK, I guess the first thing we learned tonight is. Don't put no get no. No. You really never thought that doesn't go there was going to get to this place, did you? That doesn't go that that in no way shape or form there is no biological way it's not even there's it's not even shaped the right fucking no there is nothing indicative that this thing and this thing go to no i suppose it could be kind of hot if someone had a glass eye that they were really self-conscious oh hmm uh, what's next ear fucking don't say it man don't say it there's some joke i can't remember the particulars of it now there's some old joke about like a hooker who's famous for her blowjobs but you can't turn the light on in the room and then it turns out like some guy does turn the light on and it turns out he's just fucking her eye socket I don't remember the particulars of the joke, so that's not a joke, Tara. That's a nightmare. But that's the punchline. That is Christ, her. that that is an episode of Tales from the Crypt, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Tara, don't help. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. What else did we learn this week? OK, there is no reason in the world for you to be. Baking. For you to they, no McFlurries, no reason for the McFlurry. Nash is glitching everybody. The, the tech is all working fine. It's Nash that's glitching. Mm, yeah, there's there's no reason. There's no reason to be out there. McBation. OK, OK. <laughs> McBation. Salt your fries now with cream McSplooge. Yes, yeah, lovely, lovely guys. You're 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 charming. I'm sure there's a ton of those little euphemisms McDonald's wise, like Mick jerk off. Keep your breakfast burrito wrapped. Mm. <sighs> McWanker. Cream frappe. I mean, just putting Mick in front of stuff is kind of not creative. You gotta, no, it's not. You gotta work for yeah. it. It's just, just don't. Why? If you got to do it, not the McDonald's. And think of your fellow commuters. They've got to go to work. At least use the Wendy's. Nobody goes there for breakfast. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we learned this week that who you're gonna call should not be nine one one. No, because what the fuck are they going to do? Not much. What are we going to use, man? Harsh language. <laughs> Call your local clergy and or Ghostbusters mm. uh, in, in, in times of possession. Or, you know, if you happen to know a Winchester, first give him my number and then call him. And then seems adorable. We learned that metal towers are not a place you want any sensitive area to be exposed because ow. Five hours, though, that is some commitment to that. Because he's up there and I'm like, you. he got up there and suddenly realized where he was and what state he was in and was like, I'm not coming down. Actually, you know, I think he probably got up there and goes, well, I'm only ever going to do this once. Might as well get my money's worth out of it. Yeah. We learned that 
Oh, Captain, my Captain is probably not you. Especially if... Suicide notes are not for kids. Silly teacher, suicide notes aren't for kids. That shouldn't be something you have to say. That shouldn't be something I have to say! Mother that should, fucking... That should goodness. go without saying... And last but not least, keep it on the court does not mean bring your gun. No. Just because you brought the gun to the court does not give you a pass. It's not okay. The ref is not going to excuse it. It's a fucking gun. That's bad sportsmanship. <clears throat> Although that would probably make basketball a sport I'd like to watch. If they could shoot each other? Fuck yes. 